page ad in Dawn, and it was on the 26th of October 2008. The cost of a half page ad full color on the back page is 850,000 rupees for one day. They listed the same jobs on rosy.pk and the 15 day cost was 15,000 rupees. Very low, a rounding error in the budgets of most people here. Your CEO won't think twice allocating a budget like that. What was interesting is after 14 days, Angro Foods received 4,150 CVs through Rosie's portal and about 2,000 CVs from Dawn. Angro Foods hired 145 management trainee through Rosie.pk in 2008. What's even more interesting is if you calculate the cost per CV, online the cost per CV was 4 rupees and through print medium the cost per CV was 411 rupees. That's a differential of about 100 times. I'm not saying twice as expensive, three times, four times. It's 100 times more expensive. And there are results today because Pakistan is online. And the natural question to ask is, okay, but is the same quality of candidates online today that I can find through print medium? And the fact that all of you have email addresses answers a portion of that question. This is a quotation from the GM of HR at Angro Foods. We were delighted with the quality of candidates that we were able to hire through our partnership with Rosie. EFL is rapidly growing and our people are our most important asset. Our online hiring experience has yielded an excellent return on investment compared to conventional methods. So my message is that the internet is here today. It's a fantastic resource in these tough times to optimize your hiring strategies and it works. There are a lot of other case studies I can point to the United Nations received over 40,000 CVs from us in the last three months. Very hard to collect that number of CVs through print medium. And a lot of these CVs are for the IDP efforts that are going on right now. Um, another one of our clients, Bank al uh, recently was hiring MTs as well. And they use our campus portals. Rosie.pk has campus portals in 85 campuses across the country. Uh, IBA, LUMS, NUST, FAST, GIK. And when you post a job on Rosie, it's simultaneously cross-listed on the websites of 85 HEC accredited institutes. They had a target of hiring 30 MTs this year. They have already made offers to 60 MTs because the quality was so high, and 47 of them have accepted, which is 60% higher than they had originally plan to hire. With this opportunity to attract the best talent at very low cost, there are further opportunities that the internet provides. Hiring somebody is as much an art as it is a science. Human beings are very complicated. They're not like a machine. It's very easy to implement a machine or a resource in your factory, it's going to perform the same way every single time. It's very predictable. Human beings are much more complex than that. So there are various aspects to human performance and how to gauge somebody before you hire them, how well they'll be suited to your organization. You have this aptitude, you know, how much aptitude is there in this person? Uh, analyzing the reasoning, uh, the mathematical skills, their skills in terms of logic. Uh, you have communication skills. Is it a good communicator? How are the speaking skills? How are their skills when they write? Personality, behavioral testing. Do they have leadership skills? Can they sell? Are they creative? A lot of other attributes that are very hard to gauge in subjective interviews across a group of individuals who may not have the same standards. Then you have very specific skills for the job. If it's a programmer job, it's very easy to analyze if they're good C programmers or not. You take tests. What the internet provides and what we're able to offer right now is online evaluation tests, the best of breed evaluation tests that have been tried and tested for over 30 years. We've got them online. You can simply attach high quality evaluation tests for the skills that you're interested in with your job posting. And when you get the CVs, when you get the applicants, you're automatically seeing a very 
well quantified rating of the individual skills that's average across all the applicants. It's reliable and it's quick. It saves you a lot of time. And the internet can do this. We're launching this in Q3 of 09. We've partnered with leading international organizations that have been providing these tests for a number of years. The results are predictive. They, they really do track performance. And we had an internal case study where we did this. And I found out that um, a new intern we hired had stronger English skills than I did. It was a big surprise because we had put her in a data entry role. Huge issue in terms of allocating resources because we weren't able to judge potential properly. Modes of administration right now, a lot of us spend a lot of money hiring a testing center or a location and, and administrating tests. You can do that online. We also have the ability to conduct these tests online in a location of your choice uh, in a batch mode as well. Anti-fraud technology makes sure that people don't cheat. Another concern a lot of us has, if you go on the internet, everybody's going to cheat. Very robust ways to prevent that. And large cost savings. A lot of you have done these tests, so you know the kind of work and costs involved in conducting these. Another example of what the internet can do for you, Rosie.pk has been uh, at the heart of conducting job fairs in Pakistan for a number of years, and we've had phenomenal attendance by a lot of companies. During these very challenging times, we tried to do something more innovative than in the past. Due to the security threats, and also due to the budgets this year, we said, let's take our job fair online. Let's do a virtual job fair, where companies can set up booths, put their branding, advertise their job openings, and provide real-time instant interaction with the HR managers. And it was a concept that many people thought would never work in Pakistan. This is Pakistan. These things don't happen here. You can't take an event online. We were surprised. Over 60 companies in Pakistan, including the leading brands, participated in our virtual job fair online. First time in the history of the country. Over 40,000 job seekers came online, interacted with HR managers, and submitted applications which they were able to collect and electronically sort and turn into a, an, an appreciating asset. So in conclusion, very tough, challenging times. A lot more is being asked of us every day. And the tools to do those things are being swept out from under our feet. But there are some great trends and inflection points that we can maximize on. The internet is now mainstream in Pakistan. It is not disputed. This is a fact. The lower costs and higher efficiencies that we can realize are also a reality, and we've seen the success of those. Early adopters are the first ones to see the results. The early adopters are typically the risk takers. The good news is now Pakistan has transitioned beyond the early adopters, and it's now become mainstream. So it's safe for you to experiment with this medium. The challenging times also present unprecedented opportunities. 30 of the Dow Jones 60 companies were created during times of recession. Fantastic opportunity. I thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Monis. Uh, can we have the clap going once more? Thank you. I don't know. Um, Talia bhi itna, uh, there are two kinds of people. As KFP, BFP, we have two kinds of people. Dukhi Rams and the Sukhi Rams. The Dukhi Rams are always Dukhi for no good reason. And Sukhi Rams are always Sukhi for no good reason. And uh, uh, I don't know. I've been working on this thing. I've been doing leadership programs. The upper you go, the more Dukhi Ram we get. All of a sudden, if a person is told you are now the CEO, he walks slow. And he never laughs. And I don't know why. Uh, before we proceed to uh, a very interesting presentation by Mudassar Akil, who will be talking on the uh, uh, Peter.